All right, guys, we got the Liverpool Regionals Finals. It's going to be Lost Tina Box versus Mew. Just DTE Mew. There's a couple of Fusion Strike energies there, but they're really not for you to Fusion Strike and use a Meloetta. It's more of for the his uh, Genesex to activate. Starting with the Flower Select, good start there. Putting the Jet Energy in, I would have assumed just picking up the Jet Energy, but maybe he doesn't have another Comfy. That's what's the reasoning for that. You can see the guy, Brent, is a little bit shaky. Maybe he just never gets to start like that, and uh, he had to actually do that. There's two Battle VIP Pass. This is the finals. Two Battle VIPs and a Genesect. He has a full board. He has a full board. Oh my god. Oh my god. Versus Brent, he couldn't even get one more flower selecting on board. Oh man. Hopefully the path to the peak actually lasts. Let's see if it does last. I mean, you could just fusion strike energy it at this point. That's crazy. A full board right there, guys. Into a judge. Oh my god. At least you're helping the flower selecting guy. So this is what his first turn looks like every single time. It makes sense to go for the Judge turn 2, because what happens is you can draw up cards. He needs a way to get rid of that Path to the Peak, that's what he's hoping for. He needs a way to get rid of the Path and then he can actually activate. This is a genius strategy, guys. F uh, fill up your board when you're playing Mew Genesect, and then go for a Judge. Judge gives you only 4 cards, it does hurt the opponent, but what happens is you, uh, you don't care. Oh my god, we picked up 4 Seal Stone. This is insane, guys. This is literally amazing. Four Seal Stone. This is going to help a lot, guys. Next turn, we're going to go Four Seal Stone. Get something to kick out of the path. And we should be fine here, man. Flower Selecting is not going to be popping off. This is insane. We're Actually, we are. We are going to get another Comfy on board. Thank God. Okay. There's really nothing else besides Comfy that we need right now. He is so far behind. He needs a lot more time to get set up. He is looking at all his Pokemon and, and, psych and energies as well. So interesting, so that's what Brent does. Brent puts uh, the Pokemon the in the beginning, uh, the trainer is in the mid, and then at the back end is all his energy. So he sees everything, he's a genius. He can start counting immediately. Of course, we're gonna go for a Comfy for more flower selecting. Well, the ideal position here is he needs a Colrus. He doesn't have a Colrus. All the Colruses are in the deck. He needs a Colrus right now. If he doesn't play Colrus, he just basically like, he's f so behind if he doesn't play Colrus. He needs to play Colrus here, guys. What are you going to do, buddy? What are you going to do, Brent, versus Fabrizio? Fabrizio, full board with a Force Seal Stone in hand. I mean, he has every out. This Flower Selecting better be good. No, it's not that great. It's just a Jet Energy is all he gets. Oh, man, this is a tough game, man. Moves in the V-Star. So he can just use Abyss Seeking because he didn't use any Colrus. He needs Abyss Seeking and he's not finding any Colrus. This is crazy. Like if you're going against Tina, this is amazing. This is exactly what you want Tina to be struggling in. Not playing a single Colrus in two turns. You want him to go first first. Because him going first slows him down. No Colrus. Then you want him to go and not play Colorus for turn two. This is insane. He, if he was forced to Abyss Seeking, right now if we can KO this, we should be able to. The Power Tablet, that's going to be huge. Gets us so far ahead. Maybe Brent is feeling okay. He's thinking, I can play down a V next turn. Get it V starred and we should be fine. I mean, you could tell Brent is a little bit shaky, whereas Fabrizio with his Rolex, shiny, shiny Rolex, is... Man, he drew into a... Wait, no, he didn't draw into it. He actually used first four Seal Stone to get Vacuum. He needs a way to kill this path, or, or he cannot play the game. It's crazy how one card can literally shut down your whole deck. So you literally have to tech so hard for this card. There's the choice, but okay, we have a KO on board. If we get one more ta power tablet, we got a KO. No, we don't even need a power tablet. Oh my god, we don't even need a power tablet, boys. Oh man, Mew is just popping off right now. Mew is just popping off. More force seal stone to reduce our hand. One power tablet in hand. We don't want to use the power tablet. I don't think you use it. 
That's crazy, guys. This Mew is just so set up. It's just so hard. It's going to be a very hard game for this guy. He needs a DTE, though. I mean, right now, Mew is just popping off. Now, now this is the turn where you want to, like, literally draw 20 cards. You want to draw 20 cards this turn. So, yeah, you want to dump all the first seal stone. You want to dump all your switches. You want to draw... No, no, put the part... Keep the part tablet in hand. He's literally just going to draw his whole deck. Okay, there's the fusion. We need a DTE. There's the DTE. Okay, that's pretty much uh, shot. One shot kill here. That's crazy that we lose a V so early, so fast like that. I get it. I get what Genesect is doing. He's thinking, man, we, he might path next turn. So, might as well get my whole board set up. So, I don't have to worry about path. And then we should be fine here. It makes total sense. I, I agree with him completely. Because you are going to get path next turn. That's the only way f Brent can deal with you. He needs to path you. So we're not going to Mew Max one last time. We are going to put a box of disaster somewhere though. Wow. Put it on the back end Mew. Uh, in a turn where he can KO him one shot. There it is. Gets the first kill on the Brent. Oh, amazing. This is insane guys. Absolutely amazing. Man, this Brent is so far behind. Never picked up any Greninjas, no Colrus. His flower selecting is getting him energies. It's literally such a bad position to be in. I'm, so, I'm feeling bad for Brent. I mean, I can see he's a little bit shaky. He's like, this deck doesn't work like this. This is this deck never did this to me. <laughs> Why is it doing this in the finals? And of course, just your luck. It's in the finals when it freaking do Colorist doesn't want to pop out. It's crazy. There's literally no Colorist in hand. There it is! Finally, the first Colorist three turns in with a flower selecting. That's how strong flower selecting is. That's why you want to ban this character. <laughs> Color is finally activating. Now we're at 10 eggs. Finally, we're at 10. Another color is in hand now. Okay, we, we're going to start popping off here. Mirage Gate in hand. Okay, we got everything we need. We just need a V. <laughs> we just need a Giratina V now. Man, that sucks because we don't have a V or a V star. Like, how are we going to even set up for a Giratina V? Oh my god, I think Brent is signaling he lost the game. Because he literally has to Sable Eye this turn. I think this is a signal, guys. So we retreat the flower into a Sable Eye. I guess we give him one prize at least. Not ideal though, not ideal. You don't want this Sable Eye 12. <sighs> doesn't make sense. Wait, what the hell? He attached another energy? So he doesn't want to lose that water energy? 333. Three, three. Three, three, 336, okay. So 280, 280, and 6 on the rest. That's that's good. He can, can one-shot KO anything now, but he doesn't have a V. <laughs> He couldn't even play the V down because it was going to get moved anyways and get one shot. So now he's just going to be so far behind, guys. Fabrizio kind of shoving himself in the corner. But it, it, it's it's okay because there is no path to the peak. And so he can draw all the cards he wants. There's the path in his hand. He could just sit there, draw, 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 and then path. But it's against a deck that doesn't care. Uh, I'm not going to lie, though. Oh, whoa. Brent actually drew insane. He drew the V he needs, he drew a Mirage Gate, and he drew into a Chorus. He literally has everything he needs. Oh no, he drew into two Mirage Gates, no? Okay, Brent is... Brent just popped off with that draw. Like, that draw is insane, but it's so late, I think. Fabrizio is genius. Genius level. He's playing everything so fast. This is insane, guys. Cramomatics, now we're gonna start hitting. I remember this game, guys. He hit every cram. I don't think he missed a cramomatic. And Br it's just Brent, just. It's just a tough game, man. Tough game for Brent. 
Fabrizio is getting close, guys, to the $10,000 prize pool. Finally, a V on board with the nest ball. A little bit late. He usually has two Vs, so it's kind of crazy that he never put anything on till now. There's Mirage Gate. We literally have one more energy left. He's struggling, guys. He doesn't have any energies. What are you going to do, Brent? Super Rod in hand, another Mirage Gate. No, Colorus. Okay, now he's finding all his Colorus. Unfortunately, it's a little bit late, guys. Flower selecting Tina. Man, he's finding everything he needs. Those Flower selecting are freaking broken. They're actually broken. Fabrizio, bro. Fabrizio has... No, Brent hasn't even started playing the game yet, bro. Brent is shaking. You can tell he's shaking. I think he sees he sees the writing on the wall. He's like, look, I can one shot KO this next uh, Mew. No, what's gonna happen is Fabrizio is gonna move this Mew back. No, both Mews have box of disaster, right? No, no, no. The Mew in the front has box of disaster. It's not gonna activate though, not anymore. Sibla is actually amazing at doing that. At shutting down Box of Disaster. That's actually impressive. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Okay, there's the comfy retreat into flower selecting. Literally five cards left in the deck. Path to the Peak can save us. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I don't see a way for us to come back because... I mean, we gotta play perfect. It, it's gotta be insane. Let's see if the cram And crams have to not hit. But the crams keep hitting, man. The crams are hitting like crazy. Imagine... Bro, cram is so broken. Did you guys see the new card, drone? The drone is literally... It needs two hits for one card. Whereas uh, cram run just needed one hit for one card. Like, that's how broken... The cram is. Cram is actually broken, guys. I'm glad it's leaving the meta. If you're a deck that likes to ditch out its hand, yeah, cram is broken. Because it doesn't even feel bad to lose cram. Because you you just you reduce your hand by two, and now you can draw more. It really doesn't even feel bad. There's the Lost City with the cram. Yeah, when Cram hits, you realize, damn, Path is gone. Okay, for BG, he needs to shuffle... Okay, there it is. I was going to say, he needs to shuffle his deck. Fabrizio is not hurt by drawing Judges, whereas Brent is getting hurt by drawing Judges. He, but he does have a board, finally, so his board... Is all he really needs. All he really needs is one energy. I don't know if he has that energy actually. In the deck. Yeah, he has it. Don't worry. He drew two paths. <laughs> I mean, the deck is helping him now. It's trying to save him. <laughs> the deck really wants him to win. <laughs> now, now it does. Not before. <laughs> oh my god. Brent is sitting here counting. He's like, damn it. So I'm, all I make is $7,000. That's it. Damn, I really wanted that 10K. He's like, okay, damn it. I, I, I need to not get the spoilers on my BMW. <laughs> That's probably what he's thinking. Fabrizio is out there. He's like, damn, how many more Rolexes am I going to get? <laughs> I need to get one more for this win. Every time he wins, he gets a Rolex. Every time he gets a regional championship. The guy looks so young too. He's like not even, barely 18. So good on you, Fabrizio. Good job. 
Really good position here in the finals. Two to six prizes. Oh my god. Roxanne here might save us. Uh, I honestly doesn't. Uh, but Roxanne into pa path could save us. Roxanne into path. Is this is this it? Is Brent gonna be able to do this? Roxanne into path. He could have switched cart, what? And then Roxanne. Does he not have V-Star? That's why he rocks in. He didn't have a V-Star. He needs a V-Star now. Yes, yes! He picked up all the V-Stars! Okay, 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 okay. We got this. I think we got this. I don't think Fabrizio can win next turn. We get a KO here, we go to two, Fabrizio attacks us, unless he has boss. Like, we have to hope that Roxanne saved us. But even if Roxanne, well, he, we do have path. He doesn't have any for, more force shield stone, doesn't have anything, really. So we need to just V-star here, or no, we're shredding for 280. No, we V-star? Okay, we get three. Oh my god, we got three. Got three prizes here, guys. Mew drew a boss. Mew drew into a boss. That's crazy. That's crazy. He drew into a boss. Another judge. A judge and a boss was in his hand. He had two supporters. Crazy. In a, in a turn where he literally can't do anything. That's crazy. Brent actually might do it. He might be able to come back. This is so far behind, but this is crazy. Can he do it? Can Brent do it? Let's see what we draw with the four. No lost city, but we do have cram. And crams, if they hit here, we win game. If cram hits here, we win game. No, don't tell me we're going to lose. Brent is going to lose this whole game because of one cram. This is insane. What, what, what Fabrizio needs to do is he needs to jump his Mew out. No, he keeps hitting crams, man. No, he got lost vacuums. Crazy. Bro, Brent. I'm sorry, bro. We know what he's getting. <laughs> we know what he's getting. He's going to get rid of that path. Start drawing again, and you're donezo, brother. Let's see. Uh, there is a line here he could do. He can go ahead and jump the Mew into the deck. Is he going to get rid of it? Let's say, yeah. Jump the Mew into the deck. And uh, then next turn we have a KO. Even if he moves him in, we just need a boss, and we should be getting the KO. Easy. He only drew five. He needs a sixth one. All right, that's that's pretty much game. He's got the Mew in hand. So what we do here is we jump this Mew, and then we move on up the next Mew, and we should be fine. We, he cannot KO us. He already V-starred. This Mew is going to be safe by jumping in. And then he can KO anything else, but what happens is we win game next turn. As long as we get a boss. Three crams hit. I mean, bro, if you're just not going to lose a single cram, of course you're going to win the game. Oh, my God. Never mind. <gasps> oh, my God. We didn't even go for the psychic leap. We just went for the power tablets. Oh, my God. He hit every cram. If you hit three cram, I mean, one quick search is insane. Three quick searches is broken. Three quick searches is broken. Fabrizio, man, I need to take him to the casino, man. Oh, man, let's play slots together, bro. Holy moly, his random generator is amazing. <laughs> random number generator. GG.